Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amata and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to get stuck right into our first topic, which is some leaks regarding what we're going to be allegedly see announced or expanded on at CES 2022, which somehow is not that far away at all. It's already the end of November almost, pretty much, and I do not know how that happened, so don't ask me. Either way, CES 2022 is fast approaching, and there's lots of stuff we can reasonably expect to be announced there. And we have some fresh leaks today, thanks to Grayman55, and these do actually line up with what we've been hearing as well, which I will go through later, but let's discuss what Grayman55 had to say first, and then see what our sources had to say about that. So, he said the following may be announced at CES N3+, Plus, Zen 3, Vcash, Navi24, Navi2X laptop, and then RTX 3090 Ti and RTX 30 XX Ti laptop. And then just below that, we can see Zen 3 Plus equals Rembrandt. Just a clarification from here that that's what Zen 3 Plus is. Now, I think we can all agree that when AMD took the stage at Computex and obviously gave us the skinny on Zen 3 Vcash, it was really, really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to seeing more of what Zen 3 Vcash has to offer. Obviously, they did detail some performance numbers as well as some information on the actual architectural changes and whatnot. But there's still quite a lot left there, I'm sure. But uh, let's move on to that from that to what our sources have been saying about these same topics. And let's discuss AMD first, since while well, we were just talking about them. So first of all, let's discuss Navi 2X. We have heard about this, and we're like 60 to 70% confident about this particular piece of information. We're fairly sure it's happening, but what we're not really sure about is whether or not we will see this announced at CES next year. Navi 24 is kind of the same story. We don't know if it will be announced at CES. So a reasonable maybe pile for the Navi 2X laptop, again 67% confident but we just don't know for sure if it will be announced by AMD at CES and again the same for Navi 24. As for the Nvidia news, we're 95% sure that the RTX 30 laptop is true. We have been hearing from various sources, again very reliable ones but as always pinch of salt TM is definitely required that new SKUs are being worked on over at Camp NVIDIA, we just don't know which, but some of them will be announced at CES, and there's a fair bit of confusion as to you know which ones we will see announced, but we will see some of them announced at CES for the RTX 30 laptop. And as for the 3090 Ti desktop, well, of course, this is far from the first time we've discussed that particular SKU. Our sources are saying that it is 100% real, but the last we've been hearing is that even AIBs aren't sure if and when it will be released, but they have been briefed on specs. We do think it will be announced, however this is not from a source, this is just a gut feeling that we will be seeing it at CES. So just a TLDR on the 3090 Ti as I just threw a lot of information at you. We are told it's 100% real. Even AIBs aren't sure if and when it will be released, but they have been briefed on specs. Paul said he has a gut feeling that we will see it announced at CES, but again, this is not from a source. And the final thing that our sources have been saying regarding this is that we have also heard that other desktop refreshes, such as, for example, the 3080 20 gigabytes, are being tested, but we don't know if they will be at CES and if all of them will be released. Because I'm sure there's many, many things that have been tested internally at both AMD, NVIDIA and at Intel as well that we never even heard about and various projects that we did hear rumblings of and then just died on the vine. So again, we have heard that other desktop refreshes because there's been lots of rumors flying around about RTX 30 supers and TIs and refreshes and whatnot are being tested but we don't know if they will all be at CES, and even if all of them will see the light of day. So I think it's going to be really, really interesting to see what actually makes an appearance at CES, especially given that you know this year has just been so scuffed in terms of you know GPU availability and pricing, of course, is all over the place and just a bit of a nightmare. But I think you know next year is going to be allegedly when we're going to see some improvements, so it's going to be really interesting to see what both companies bring to the table. Now, speaking of upcoming releases, we have some fresh information on Intel's Meteor Lake, which of course is the 13th generation line of Intel processors which will be following Older Lake and will be coming out sometime in 2023. And we have some fresh information on this thanks to the Commercial Times. And this is quoting their own sources and they have quoted some interesting specs and process nodes which will allegedly be utilized by the next generation Intel chip. 
Now, according to what they've been hearing, the Meteor Lake processor will adopt a new chip design that will integrate computing chips, graphics chips, and connection chips, otherwise known as SOC LP tiles, into one through Intel Foveros, which of course is their advanced packing technology that they detailed some time ago. Now, we are going to be seeing the 7nm EUV, otherwise known as Intel Process Node, be used for this, and we're going to be seeing a new Cove Core architecture known as Redwood Cove and apparently it's designed from the ground up to be agnostic mode node excuse me which basically means that it can be fabricated at different fabs so we are going to be seeing redwood cove make up the performance or p cores and crestmont crestmont if excuse me make up the efficiency or e cores and apparently we are going to be seeing the TSMC 3NM process be used for the graphics chip present on Meteor Lake and the connection chip that I mentioned, those SOC LP tiles, are also going to be handed over to the folks at TSMC. And apparently we're going to be seeing them finalise and trial production begin at the end of this year. But we also apparently will see that SOC LP tile, which once again is going to be handed over to TSMC, will either be based on the N5 or N4 process node, but once again the GPU tile will be based on that 3NM TSMC node. And apparently Meteor Link could be a fully 3D stacked design and utilise an I.O. source from an external fab. Once again, this is pointing towards TSMC. So I think we can all agree that Meteor Lake is sounding rather interesting, and I look forward to hearing more information about this. But we're going to move on to our final topic for this video, which is actually regarding AMD and Intel GPU shipments, as we have a new report from John Petty Research. So the John Petty Research report shows that the growth of PC-based GPU market reached 101 million units in Q3 2021, and PC CPU shipments increased by 9 percent year over year. As for the specific market share of the big three, AMD, Intel and Nvidia, AMD's overall market share percentage from last quarter increased 1.4 percent, whereas Intel's saw a decrease of minus 6.2 percent and we saw a significant increase from Nvidia of 4.8 percent, 8.6 percent, excuse me, and you can see all of this demonstrated rather nicely on a nice graph from John Petty Research. However, overall GPU shipments decreased by minus 18.2 percent from last quarter. However, AMD specifically decreased by 11.4 percent, Intel shipments decreased by minus 25.6 percent, and only NVIDIA saw an increase of 8% flat, which is rather interesting, as I'm sure you'd agree. Now, obviously, Q3 is normally really, really strong, but even with all everything in mind, with everything that's been going on in the world, this quarter was the lowest ever from the previous quarter. This quarter was down 18.2%, as I already mentioned, from last year, and that's way below the 10-year average of minus 5.2%. So that just goes to show you the impact that everything has been having on this global market. And we have a brief quote here from John Petty, president of JPR, who said, quote, COVID continues to unbalance the fragile supply chain that relied too heavily upon just-in-time strategy. We don't expect to see a stabilized supply chain until the end of 2022. In the meantime, there will be some surprises. So there you have it guys that is what is going on in the gpu market and obviously in the tech world as of today hope you've enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time Bye bye